Hello everyone. I just wanted to take some time before the video to say thank you to Ola England and Solar Guitars for giving me my artist endorsement. I am elated that I was even given the opportunity and the chance. Uh, I remember way back in December, um, my first contact with Ola and just off of via email and he was cool then and he's even cooler now. Um, so thank you very very much and second off I want to thank all of you on Facebook and Instagram um, congratulating me um, saying really nice stuff uh, in this artist endorsement I really appreciate all of your kind words and comments um, a lot of you all over the world thank you very very much I was surprised to see that much responses from the posts uh, I want to give a shout out to Philip Boardman. Um, thank you for plugging me on Facebook. I really appreciate it. His band Chasm, I think I'm saying it right, K-H-A-S-M, is releasing an album this year as well as Augustine 313. And we will be doing a collaboration video together as well as I am doing now currently with Dustin Stone. Which I will be posting a video of kind of what our song came out as a final product as a rough mix. I also want to give a shout out to Devin, the owner of Rogers Guitars in the Big Island of Hawaii in Keau. He owns a guitar shop. He's also a luthier. He builds acoustics, classicals, and electrics. He has new and used instruments and amps and honestly that's where I picked up this Marshall. He had it in the corner waiting for me, calling out my name. He was the amp when I walked in. I was like, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, take me home, play me, make me sound like a metalhead. So, I did. So, Devin, thank you very much. I really enjoy this amp. And another shout out I want to give to Mr. Lendy Kramer. You guys go check out his band called Second Son. They are, as we speak, he is tracking guitars for the album. I guarantee it. Just picked up a new orange head which I'll be doing a Kemper profile on as well. But they're tracking tonight and, and this whole weekend for their album coming up. So you guys could give them a like, that'd be awesome. Show some love to the Hawaii metal bands. And there's a guy uh, in Canada called Mark Sweeney. And he creates custom made picks and guitars from what I've heard. Uh, contacted me today via Facebook Messenger. And I'm gonna be trying some picks out for maybe possible endorsement. We'll see. But they're all handmade. Go check out his site. Hopefully I can leave a, a link on the bottom of the video. And enjoy. Every tune stays in tune all the time. The best. It is the best. Today, up to bat, all you Kemper owners out there and you Marshall fanatics, is Joe Satriani's signature head. Yes, I have it. It's here. It's in the studio as we speak, getting ready to Kemper profile it for y'all and give you some some play sounds through it and see how it goes. And for those of you who want to know what mics I've been using for the Kemper profiles, I've been saying they're a 58. Doesn't mean they're an SM58. It's a, a mic I really like and it's an Audix. It's the Audix OM5. Not sure if you can see that, but I like it. So that's what I'm using right now. And drink some made in pain water, fresh from the natural springs of Hawaii's volcano ashes. Yes. Stop talking. It's time to go make make. Okay? I can go make make video, I can go make make tone, and then after that you guys go make make comments, maybe make make share, maybe make make likes, you know? But I love the likes, I love the shares. Thank you guys for everything. You guys have been amazing. So there it is. Joe Satriani's custom Marshall head. And it is a beast. I have the matching half stack slant cabinet. Um, in the sound room right now, the live room, and we'll be hooking up the Kemper. So all of the settings that I will be showing you in the video 
is what will be profiled. Uh, there's too many tone options on this thing, so I'm basically going to give you what I like. So channel one is, uh, actually all the channels on this head is kind of special. Gives you a lot of different options with the buttons you see on the side of each channel. So the clean channel gives you the clean green mode, a clean orange mode, and a clean red mode. But I'm keeping all the settings the same. Again, I got all the volumes at 12 noon. I got the master volumes at 12 noon. And that's how I'm going to do this camper profile. The crunch channel also has a green mode, which is inspired by the master volume on the JMP. The orange mode in channel 2 is based on the JCM 800 2203, which is kind of like the JMP. It's kind of standard in rock music. And then it gives you the red mode. It's kind of like a modded JCM 800. So it kind of is more like the 80s era of, uh, you know, rock band style of music. So I don't play much rock and roll, so I got the settings, again, the gain is a little bit up, troubles up, but I left the bass in the mids almost at 12 noon there also. As far as overdrive channel number one, it has um, green mode, which is a lot of gain. The orange mode gives you even more gain, and the red, um, it's, uh, the red mode is just psychotic. Um, so on overdrive channel one which is channel three and channel four they're identical almost very similar to each other I think the only thing you'll notice is the bass response on channel four is a little bit more um, noticeable when you palm mute they have a built-in noise gate it has like an extra overdrive two and an extra crunch knob below the noise gate uh, they have two masters that does control how much more power saturates in the tubes that is going out to whatever channel you're using it's like it makes it more powerful and then it comes with a resonance and a presence knob which is new for me but I, I, I know what presence does but as far as a resonance knob it's kind of trippy because um, I just kind of was playing around with the tone and I kind of just what I wanted out of it I kind of just turned it up to how I like the tone and how it sounds. So we're at like mm, three o'clock on both of them there. So enjoy the video. The Joe Satriani custom head and matching cab, all in a nutshell. It's 12 modes of different tones and different possibilities. So I did my settings on all 12 modes and then I did another. 12 modes with the EQs all at 12 o'clock and the gain at maybe 2 o'clock. But um, this is the Orange Overdrive 2. <laughs> And Marshall Grit Grit in there. I'm gonna do a little playthrough now. And so, a little playthrough. Yes, we shall. Yes, we will. And we're gonna make it better all the time. Here we go. Here we go. Hear that funky playback.
this amp is very versatile. It has many modes. It has 12 modes. Three, you have green, orange, and red in channel one, the crunch channel, overdrive one, and overdrive two. You also have all these different options of tones and sounds. So um, I was, as I was profiling it with the Kemper, what ended up happening was the Kemper said it, it detected the noise gate on it, so I had to shut it off. Um, so, wow, the Kemper's pretty smart. You know, it's hard to find that and say, hey, I ain't gonna clone this, man. I hope you enjoyed the little playthrough with the little song song. And next amp, I think, is an old school Rivera handmade head. And it's a tank. And I'll show you guys that later. But damn. Right on. Again, special thanks to Ola England for my artist endorsement. And my artist guitar that he's sending in May. The last one. The 50th one. For the 50th state. Hawaii. Hello, everybody. <laughs>